These mama sheep were just sheared. Let's take a look to see how we did it. So it's mid-April. Some of our ewes have delivered their lambs already and we're waiting for some of them yet to deliver. Ideally, it's nice to shear before they lamb just because it's easier for the shearer. Their stomach skin doesn't get wrinkled, less risk of uh, cutting them. But we are at the mercy of our shearer's timeline and we're happy to wait because he's well worth the wait. Our shearer drives here from Jamestown, North Dakota, which is a several hour drive. Um, he loves sheep and he has been shearing for um, most of his life. Um, he's sheared in many, many countries around the world um, and I believe he has sheared more sheep in the world or in the United States than any other shearer. Today we will be shearing 25 of our own animals, including all the ewes and our rams and weathers. And then we have another four sheep from our friends that bring them over to our farm as well. So for our lambing setup, we've got all of the girls waiting over here. The boys are in the back room. And we bring them into the middle here and we're waiting to lamb. Are waiting to shear and then we when it's about time I'll bring in the next one to shear through this gate one of the most common questions that I get is why do we shear our sheep twice a year we have Icelandic sheep and they are primarily a wool sheep, however they are used for meat and milk as well. But because they're primarily used for their wool, they produce a lot of it. We shear twice because they can grow out several inches in between shearings. Uh, so now this is called our spring shear. And it's a little bit shorter and not quite as high in quality as our fall shearing because they've been, number one, uh, pregnant. And so a lot of their nutrition is going into their babies, not into their wool. And then we have to feed them hay and they're messy eaters. And so it just naturally gets into their wool and it creates kind of a mess to clean out. Some of that vegetable matter is very difficult to clean out of the wool after it's been sheared. Some of these fleeces we will likely throw away because they are not going to be worth dealing with. The fall shearing is much nicer and longer. Um, sometimes we get up to nine to 10 inch staple length of growth between April and November. And that's because they're on green pasture they're not pregnant, they're not wasting their energy growing a baby, and it's just an easier time of life uh, and for them to capitalize on the nutrition. What do we do with our wool? I take each fleece after it's uh, been bagged up. You'll see me gathering the wool off the ground and putting it into its own bag. The reason we keep it in its own bag is because each sheep in our flock is, has different coloring. Uh, not all breeds are like that. Um, a, lot of sh a lot of sheep farms will just put all of their wool into one large bag and most of the time actually send it with a shearer to be sold to a mill where the wool is used to make carpet or other wool products. However, um, this wool is desirable by hand spinners, crafters, felters, um, for lots of different types of crafting. So I take each fleece and I skirt it. We have another YouTube video on that you might want to tune into. Um, I clean it and then I sell all of it on Etsy. 
on our Etsy shop, Pure Joy Farms. Uh, we keep back some of it and do our own crafting with it. We use some of it for the wool that we wrap our soap with to make felted bar soap. Nothing gets wasted except for the dirty wool. It's always a busy, fun day and it's a great feeling to have shearing done every time. As you can see, it takes lots of people to get the process done. My daughter sorts the sheep and decides which one is going to be sheared next and hands it off to my husband and then he hangs on to it until the shearer is ready. And then when the shearer is done, someone's got to make sure that it, the sheep goes back to its proper pen. Sometimes we send them back outside or into back into the barn into another pen. After each sheep is done being sheared, someone has to sweep up the belly wool and maybe the poop and any other debris off of the board before the next animal comes in just so we make sure that the wool stays as clean as possible. And then I gather up the good wool and put it in its bag and set it off to the side. And that's how we shear our sheep. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel.